Okay, so in this video, what I want to do is I want to go back and explain some of the things that we've done um, up until this point. This is this won't be a long video. Another thing I want to do is, as you see in our edit profile, we've added um, a well, we've changed username to instead of being just username username in our profile. As you see here, this will be username, username. We have now a display name that the user can change and we want to populate that into our profile. We also have a bio that we would like to put into this profile. And so in this video, I will be doing just that. So the first thing I want to do is because of the way I, I did an auto layout and then the stacks in here, it makes it a little bit more difficult to move things around. I'm not sure if you've tried to do that or tried to play with that. So what I have done or what I suggest you guys to do is we want to add a place for the bio. Now, depending on how long you want the bio to be, um, maybe this will be enough room for it or maybe it won't be. So what I want to do is just add that here. And as you see, this is not where we want it to be. And if we pull it down here, it's just going to uh, cut into here or drop down to here. So what we need to do is we need to allow more room. And as you see, if we try to just pull this down, it pops right back up. Even if we try to get rid of this, it's going to pop back up. So what I need to do, and I'm sure there's an easier way to do this, let me just go ahead and put these back is I need to redistribute, redistribute the area and these constraints are not going to allow me to do that. So what we're going to do is first, we're just going to go into our stack, which is what we have on top. So if you've done it the same way I've done, you should have the stack and then within the stack, you should have the three views. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the distribution to be uh, fill proportionally. And then, of course, we get this. We have a couple things that we need to go ahead and just get rid of. So I'm just going to do that right now. Just scroll down and just check. Oh, well, not this stuff, apparently. Yeah. So just this stuff up here. I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to go back to uh, this. Okay, so we still don't see that, but we have more space here that we can use. So I'm just going to move this up and I'm going to find this. Let's just, let me delete that actually. And I'm just going to pull it back in. And I'm just going to resize this. Now this would be um, Lori Ipsum. I'm just going to get rid of all of this. All right, so now we have a place for our bio. And I'm just going to do the auto. We wanted to stretch the width. We wanted this to be the bottom. This view to be the bottom of it so now we have a place for our view now one thing that I'm not sure if you guys are getting or not I'm just going to clean and build this just to make sure nothing weird is happening okay now the first thing that I think you guys probably will notice is that when automatic is selected we're not actually seeing our code on this side. So one way we can try to get rid of that is we know that the profile view controller should be the code that's popping up. And we know that by if we highlight this view controller here and we see that profile view controller is this class, but for some reason it's not linking up to be that way. So what I'm going to go ahead and do <clears throat> is I'm just going to right click on our profile view controller. I'm going to delete. And instead of moving to trash, I'm going to remove the reference. And then I'm going to 
re-import it. So I'm going to right click on my project. I'm going to say add files to whip and then your project name. And I'm going to take, this is my, uh, you're going to find your profile view controller. It should be somewhere in this list. You're going to hit add. All right, so let's go back to our storyboard and see if that pulls is up, if it pulls it up in which it does. So now the automatic is displaying properly to our view controller. Then what we want to do, I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff. I don't know why I have that. Okay. And I need access to this text view here. So I'm going to drag this into here. I'm going to say it's an outlet. It's going to be called biotext. And to be fair, we're only using the text field for our bio text and our edit profile. So we could technically use a text field here as well. So that's an option. Now within the code, what we want to do is, as you see here, we're pulling back the values from the um, user's profile and the database into this value of dictionary. And in this value of dictionary, we're pulling out a username which is going to be a key, and then we're going to get the value. Um, I will just open that really fast so that it way it makes sense. Okay, there we go. So our project is named Minogram. I'm going to go into our database. And here, here's our information. So we currently are just pulling back the username and we're displaying it two places. We have a field for the bio, and we're going to display that in a display. The key is display, um, which is going to be a little different than our username. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that back too. So within here, I'm just going to add these, um, the, the fields that I want to pull back. So display is going to be equal to the dictionary. The value is called display. I mean, the key is called display, and we're going to pull back the value of that into and just in case we can't get it back, we just want to just say a simple display, and you can handle this a better way, obviously. And then let bio equal dictionary. bio as string otherwise we're just going to say bio if there's no bio or you don't have to say anything to be honest so i probably would err on the side of not saying anything because we don't really care if we don't have a bio maybe you have these as variables but just so you can play around with that so once we get those values, what we want to do is we just want to display them. So here we already are setting the display name text field to username. Instead of username, we're just going to type in display because we just got that value up here from the database. And then we want to display the value. So self .biotext text is going to be equal to bio. string value and actually it does make more sense to be honest to not have a text view here and then a text no no it makes sense it makes sense well let's see So I'm just going to go ahead and run that. Okay, so if I go to our profile, 
Okay, we have some things that are a little out of whack here. Um, some alignment issues that we can fix, of course. But as you see, our username and our display name are now different and it displays our bio. So we can also still go into the edit, edit both of those things and then update. So let's see what's going on with this. I'm going to just change this stack view and to feel and I'm going to play that again. Oops. Okay, so I'll go to profile and as you see our username, our display name and our bio information are now appearing in our profile. So I hope that helped um, with anybody who was curious about that. And it definitely allow, allow me to not uh, forget about it. Uh, our next video, we will be moving forward. I promise. If you have any more questions, feel free to either email me or comment below. If you see a question that I've answered for you before and someone else has the question, um, it'd be really awesome if you guys just uh, help each other as well um, answer these questions. So that way I, if I don't get to you fast enough, someone else who has the answer can help you out. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.